Welcome. We have with us uh, Laura Boyer, Stefania, Stefania Anastu, okay, and Bailey Flower do. Okay. Ladies, first off, congratulations. Uh, Coach, talk about the composure that your team showed all night in, kept coming back at you and to come into here and win this evening. We've been practicing this all season. Um, you know, we have played these guys five sets, lost by two. We were up against Clarion in five sets, lost it. We've been in a lot of five-set matches. We've been pushed. We've had to battle. And so I think it was finally our time to win one. Um, we put in the work. We trained for it. We knew it was an opportunity. If we trusted in our training and balls fell our way, and we earned what we've been looking for so the season. Bailey, how do you sum up how you're feeling? Obviously, in that fifth set, the emotions were sort of pouring out. How do you describe, you know, what's going through your mind right now? I would say pride is a good word. Like Coach said, like we've been practicing so hard. We put ourselves in these situations of practice every day. We've definitely prepared for this. We definitely had a chip on our shoulder, some bitterness from those previous five sets. So just to see us work hard through that because it's very easy for a team to lose those five sets, to lose to a team two times, and then just crumble and give up. But to see us work hard and then us come out on the other side and our good work show tonight, I'm just so proud of all 20 of us on a roster, and it just is a great feeling. Steph, another great night at the service line for you. Uh, what was working at the line in order to have the night that you had four aces and obviously a big night for the team as well. Um, just keep being aggressive, um, being confident in yourself. I think it's also part of my team getting me back on the line because I wasn't back there besides from acing. Um, there were some situations where they took care of the ball for me, so it's a teamwork. How does it feel to be in the Sweet 16? Holy crap. <laughs> it's, you know, we've talked about it all season and we've worked for it, but you can work for things and want things. They don't always come your way. And for whatever reason tonight, the universe believed in us and gave us, and it's pretty stinking good. So, obviously, Gannon, you said they've been on your monk, like a like monkey on your back all season. Um, I remember you saying that to me. And was there a point in the game where you go, oh, we're playing Gannon to just we're playing the match? You guys? Um, I'm just standing on the sidelines. <laughs> I'm going to say that has never been the mentality of our team. We always go big and we go and confident what whoever we're playing, it doesn't matter. We're just going in to show the work we're putting in. And we face games like Gannon every day in practice. So it's just no different. We're never going to go in a game thinking, Oh, just a game, just go through it. I definitely agree with Steph. We're very competitive. Even when we were down, I think, in the third set, we started off 0-6. We ended up coming back. It was, what, 19, 25, something like that. Just that comeback that shows how we pushed after that point, point for the point for them. We're not just going to roll over. We're going to build momentum so we can go into the next set and start off strong and just push and go eventually go ahead of them. So where do you think that confidence came from? I would say we've put work in on the off season to instill it in ourselves. So from ourselves, our teammates are talking the court, it's uplifting, forward thinking, and assertive. I think that helps with confidence. And then also our coaches, they prepared us for this moment in practice. When you do it in practice, you feel prepared, you feel confident to in the game. Uh, was there anything that you took away from the UPJ game yesterday and brought into this game, anything that you really thought this is a room to improve, anything that you thought was different? I think just resilient, servicey. I feel like yesterday we kind of were just getting by, just letting it hit us, going in the air, whatever. And I feel like today we were back there, we were more aggressive, we're like, we're getting a three, we're getting a two pass, versus just being content with it going in the air. I think part of it too is, you know, like the, these guys are saying, practice. It's really easy in these moments to focus on the kids that are on the box score. But it's our entire team. It's our B side that battles every day, that challenges our middles, that challenges our right sides, that goes back there 
and serves the crap out of the ball at these guys every day. And, you know, they don't always get the glory. They don't get it, but they are the reason that we are here because at no point is anyone ever able to take a step back, to take their foot off the gas because I know there's somebody pushing them and challenging them. And I think that's a really big change for us from last year to this year. And one of the reasons where we are where we are is because we have kids that know they're probably not going to see the court and they come in every single day and they work and they know what their job is and they are here for the team. And as a coach, you can't ask for anything more, but that also helps these guys feel confident in those moments because they see it every day against the same caliber kids. Coach, can you talk about the uh, challenge of facing Clarion in the finals, talented team? Yeah, you know, I think for us, this whole uh, regional has been PSAC 3.0. Um, my assistant jokes that at this point, he knows everybody's social security card and blood type from how much we have handled each other. You know, we know what they do well, they know what we do well. It's gonna come down to who has, executes it, who has enough gas in the tank tomorrow, and who just enjoys the opportunity. and. So, you know, would have loved to have seen not the PSAC, but it's a lot easier for us to scout. We know where we're going, and uh, we know they're going to give us a great game, and we hope we give them back, and we see, you know, where we are when the last ball drops tomorrow. Todd, do you have anything? No. Sure. Congrats. <laughs> congratulations. Ladies, congratulations. We'll see you back here tomorrow.